Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm a senior public relations major here at Rowan. Um, I work for admissions and somehow my coworkers talked me into being on camera. <laughs> Today we're going to start off a series for a cooking show to teach Rowan students how to cook because a lot of you guys don't know how to. Um, so there's a student run website called Rowan.WTF, stands for Where's the Fire. Um, it tracks how many fire alarms go off per day and what um, buildings. So there are a lot. If you check the website out, I'll like link it down below. So I'm going to show you guys how to make mac and cheese without setting off all those fire alarms. Let's get started. <laughs> So step one is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Let's see to do that. Okay. Um, our second step is you're gonna grab a three or four quart um, glass pan and just spray that for after when the pasta is done cooking. Look at that. Buttery. <laughs> Um, and next, we're going to fill up a pot of water. Okay, so what I like to do, I like to do like a medium high to boil my water. So while the water is heating up for the pasta, we're gonna go ahead and start on our cheese sauce. You need six tablespoons of butter and you need a third cup of flour. I'm just gonna cut this in half so it melts quicker. And then we're just gonna wait for the butter to melt. And then we'll put in the flour. Well, I always kind of knew how to cook. I would always help my mom in the kitchen. And then sophomore, junior year at Rowan, I didn't have a meal plan, so I was forced to cook, unfortunately. So I think this makes me pretty qualified to host the first episode. All right, it's time to add in the macaroni. We have one pack, I think it's like 16 ounces. Um, and just plop it in. Um, you're gonna cook it for like five to six minutes. You're not cooking it all the way since it will continue to bake while it's in the oven. So give it a little stir. I'm gonna move around the butter a little bit. Probably should have used a bigger pot, but that's okay. <laughs> this is the biggest one I had. Exactly. College 101 right there. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna whisk in the um, flour, the one third cup of flour. And now we need to add in the milk. All right, whisk it around. Woo! Get a free facial. I lost a couple of noodles. Put this back in. Oh. <laughs> you need to sprinkle, drizzle some olive oil on here and just let that chill out. You also need to turn off your oven. Boop. Okay. Back to the south. Just gonna do some whisking. We're gonna add in one cup of heavy whipping cream. So we're just gonna add some cheese now. We're gonna add two cups in here. Okay, so we'll do two cups. So we're gonna add two more cups. Ooh, look at that. All right, so next you're gonna add the pasta right into the cheese sauce dish. So um, time to meet up with your baking dish and you're gonna fill it up halfway. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the rest of your cheese in the middle of it. All right, perfect. And then you put the rest right on top. All right, so all you have to do is top off your mac and cheese with some panko crumbs. There's also some Parmesan cheese and paprika in here. All right, just throw this bad boy in the oven for 30 minutes. Wow, this looks really good. She is sizzling. All right, we're gonna dig in. <laughs> Ooh, wow, look at that. That looks fantastic. It was in there for a while. Mmm. <laughs> good. It's good. This is great for um, 
any like Friendsgiving, friend meals, because this is huge. If you want a meal prep for the week, go ahead. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Are You A Cook? Be ready to watch episode two. I will not be the host. Like and subscribe. Comment down below if you like this recipe. Comment down below if you want to see a certain recipe for episode two. Let us know.